Egg freezing or cryopreservation is the process of egg extraction, freezing and storage. Later, the eggs can be thawed, fertilised and transferred into the uterus. Eggs, embryos and sperm can be cryopreserved. Traditionally, egg freezing is done to overcome medical problems such as impaired ovarian function and ovarian cancer. Procedures are often funded by the NHS, dependent on primary care trusts, so it's a bit of a postcode lottery. Recent egg freezing is done for non-medical reasons. This social aspect has many ethical issues. The original freezing technique was slow and flawed. Eggs have a high water content and during freezing, ice crystals can form and damage the egg. So a new method was developed. Vitrification is an ultra-rapid process involving cryoprotectants to prevent the formation of ice crystals. An egg is first placed in a bath with a cryoprotectant and sucrose. It is then placed in high concentration cryoprotectant for a minute and then into liquid nitrogen to instantly freeze the egg. This prevents water gathering together to form ice, so the molecules gradually form a solid. Before the eggs can be collected, self-administered hormone injections and birth control pills are taken to suppress the natural menstrual cycle. Injections of follicle-stimulating hormone are then given to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs. A final hormone injection is given to help the eggs mature prior to collection. Mature eggs are then removed through the vagina under ultrasound guidance and evaluated for quality and maturity. Miss Sarah Young is 34 and a successful MP. She is hoping to become the Prime Minister, but she is aware that her biological clock is ticking. She is still single and at the peak of her career she is considering putting motherhood on ice by freezing her eggs so that she can have a family later. After understanding the process itself, she decided to research the facts. Most women would harvest 10 to 20 eggs per cycle because of the low thaw survival rate and fertilisation rate. Pregnancy success depends on her age at freezing, not the age she uses them. Frozen eggs produced 5,000 babies compared to the 300,000 children born from frozen embryos. Egg freezing for social reasons is not funded by the NHS. There are various UK clinics with packages available which vary in price from 1,400 to 4,000 depending on what is included. Additional fees may apply. Sarah then decided to consider the pros and cons. Vitrification is more successful. Eggs are screened for diseases and survival chance. No increased rate of birth defects or chromosomal defects and pregnancy complications are not increased. The risks of miscarriage and abnormalities such as Down syndrome increase with age. Freezing her eggs while still young may reduce this risk. Liberation for women to have a child when they choose. But there are cons to consider. The process might not work and she may not become pregnant, especially due to ageing. She would undergo an array of hormonal changes and it may cause tensions in her relationships. And there are many ethical issues which surround egg freezing. Many religions are against both the social and medical reasons behind egg freezing. Many believe that egg freezing is unnatural and therefore goes against God's plan. Many religions are rooted in traditions and thus egg freezing could be seen to be against the traditional family dynamic of a nuclear family. Some religions are more accepting of egg freezing if used to preserve fertility due to medical misfortunes. There are also many social objections to egg freezing. Choosing a career over family life has started to become a necessity for many women fighting to keep their jobs and excel in a career they enjoy. Some companies are now offering egg freezing as part of their healthcare package. Is this incentive to work for them or is this simply encouraging young women to prioritise their careers over motherhood? There are many health risks behind egg freezing and IVF. There are links between IVF and ovarian cancer and many possible side effects from the injections and hormones. Is it a necessary medical treatment and a waste of time and resources as well as doctor's expertise? In a few years time it could become the norm to freeze your eggs at 20 and have children by 45, but is this right? If parents are ageing, they may struggle to keep up with their young children. There is also a risk that they may develop health issues. Should a young child become a carer? Where is the sperm sourced? If the mother chooses to use a sperm donor that brings up ethical issues itself, the child's mental health could be endangered. Should children grow up without a father figure? And at which age do you explain to a child their origins? There could also be social judgement for the child, but then also judgement from the mother's peers, unwanted questioning of her motives and the creating of emotional turmoil. She may struggle to cope with questioning and suffer if the process is unsuccessful. Egg freezing is a developing field with many ethical and medical issues that society needs to decide upon.